I don't understand why Scrivener never added support to Language 2. It is possible. Language 2 has an API. As a matter of fact, the solution I'll show you today uses the API, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Anyway, I created this solution based on one of my unexpected workflows. Remember that I showed you how to synchronize Scrivener and Obsidian and use and write, edit your book inside Obsidian and have all the changes synchronized with Scrivener. If you haven't, go watch that video. That's that's where I explain it. And that's especially useful if you are an Android user like I am, because there is no Scrivener app for Android. So you can do it inside Obsidian, use your phone or your Android tablet to write your book, edit your book inside Obsidian, and that will synchronize with Scrivener. So we are building the language to integration on top of this solution. And even if you are not a developer, you can do it because I did it using my limited technical skills. So let's take a look at it. If you watched yesterday's video and you are wondering what's inside all those folders, here's one of them. This is the my books folder. It's an action container. And inside it, uh, I have here this folder, a subfolder, a markdown folder, which is where I am synchronizing the book that I'm writing on Scrivener. So these are the, the chapters. This is going to change a lot. Uh, and if you don't know how to do this, please go watch the other video. You also find a link uh, to it in the description below. So the first thing we have to do is add the language to plugin to Obsidian. This is not an official plugin, but it works pretty well. You'll see it soon. So there are two plugins. If we go to the community plugins and we look for language two, language two, there are two of them. Okay. This was the one I was using before, but since I started using it many months ago, probably almost a year or more than that, even this, I, this message was already here. It does everything I want it to do unless it breaks. I do not have intentions to update it further. However, this one here, which is based on this one here, not only added more features, but it's not on maintenance mode. It, it, it As a matter of fact, it, it just got updated when I was preparing everything here to record uh, the video. So this is the one I installed. This is the one I suggest you install, but of course it's up to you. But once you do that, we have to connect it to language too. So if we go to options here, there are two boxes here that in your case will be empty. Uh, the API username and the API key. I already have information here because I have already connected them. So let's go to language two and I'll show you where to find this. If you go to settings, then you go to access token, you see them right here. So username and API key. This is where you have you'll find this information. Of course, you have to be logged in to the language two. Now, when I was when I was first trying to add this to language two, I was having a problem. It was not working. I believe this here was the problem because once I changed it, it, it worked. So it was set as standard and I'm a premium user. So all I had to do was switch to premium and it connected. Okay. It, it, it was showing me before uh, an error message here uh, on the top of, or here somewhere here, I was seeing that message. So that's the first step. That's how you connect them. Of course you have to have a language to account. You have to be a language to user. And if you are a language to user, you are already familiar with all the settings here. I'm, I think they added all of them, if not all of them, almost all of them. So you are already familiar with this. There are many options here, but there is something specific to Obsidian. If we go to hotkeys here and we type language to, there are all these keyboard shortcuts that you can use. The ones I'm using are this one here, check text. Uh, this one here show synonymous. And this one here, in fact, this one here, I just use it once because I wanted to turn on the automatic checking. And I also changed 
the keyboard shortcut. This one is Common Shift S to show synonymous. I'll show you how that works. And check text Common uh, Shift L. To create your own shortcut, just click the plus here and type the shortcut on the keyboard, just like you do with any other Obsidian hotkey. So let's go to a text. Let's try this one here, taming the mass. So it should be automatically checking the text, but it will only do it with the text in edit mode. So let's write something here. Write something here. So as you can see here, there is uh, this line here, I can click to see the sentence does not start with an uppercase letter. Okay, I'm gonna do that and then it should f tell me that this is not correct. Yeah, <laughs> write something here, okay? And you can also change uh, expressions that language too doesn't like. I like how from time to time sounds, but I'm gonna delete this because this has nothing to do with it, the book. So to turn this on, let's go to the palette and language two. All you have to do is click here to turn the auto checking on, okay? Let's look for a synonymous, shift common S. And just like what happens inside language two, you have the options here. I'm already pretty happy with this plugin, but I would like them to add two new features. They are kind of related, one is, the tone selection. Language tool lets you select the tone of the text if it's a business letter or, or I don't know, a creative. I don't, there, there are some options there. I don't remember all of them. Uh, I, I like to change that depending on the text I'm writing. And there's another one kind of related to that one. You can select a sentence and ask language tool, I guess this is AI, to rewrite that sentence. I use that from time to time. <laughs> I don't use it all the time, but I, I, I sometimes I need that because I can't find the correct sentence, and when I click there, that I, that inspires me to to uh, to change that sentence in a better way. That's it for this one. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you are always here, if you are always watching my videos and you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It helps a lot. If you want to help even more, please consider becoming. Uh, supporter on Patreon or YouTube. You can also buy me a coffee. All the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.